To understand the Sodomon prison is to understand the story of the Korean people. Here are the top five facts about the Sodomon prison. The prison represents one of many incarceration facilities built by the Japanese forming the first penal system of its kind in the peninsula. Japan increasingly encroached their control as of the late 1800s during what is known as the colonial occupation of Korea. Before a formal treaty recognizing annexation was drafted in 1910, construction of Sodomon began in 1907. Many ordinary people fighting for their freedom against the occupying Japanese would find their way to prison. One such person was Kim Koo, who went by the pen name Bakebom, meaning ordinary person. He was one of the prominent figures of the Korean independence movement. In 1911, Ito Hirobumi, a Japanese prince and governor, was assassinated. Kim Koo found himself behind the walls of Sodomon on charges linking him to the plot. Despite being tortured and kept under duress, he was never found guilty and was allowed to go free after three long years. Another prominent freedom fighter was Yu Guan Sun, one of the originators of the March 1st movement, a peaceful demonstration against the Japanese in 1919. During this demonstration, 19 people died, including her parents. At the age of 16, Yu was arrested and sentenced to five years at Sodomu. Behind those walls, she was tortured and eventually died of her injuries, making her a martyr to the cause of freedom. Sodomun was operational on October 21, 1908. Its original intention was to house 500 murderers, rapists, and criminals. However, as there was increasing protests against the Japanese occupation, especially after the March 1st demonstrations of 1919, the prison population would swell to well over 3,000. The Japanese used the prisoners at Sodomun to make bricks for construction projects and sew clothing that was used at other facilities. Malnutrition and exhaustion were commonplace. Simple meals of rice and millet were dispensed according to sentence length, and many prisoners were forced to work 12 to 14 hours per day, even in extreme weather. Many were tortured in inhumane ways to the point of death. Occupants found themselves in cramped conditions, 12 people living in small cells with only a single bucket for a lavatory. In the post-war period, South Korea still saw itself struggling to become a truly democratic nation. A prominent champion for democracy was Kim Dae-jung, who was accused of standing up against the military dictatorship. He was sentenced to five years at Sodomun in 1976, serving two of those years and later having a reduced sentence to house arrest. Sometimes known as the Nelson Mandela of Korea, Kim would go on to become Korea's 15th president in 1998 and win the Nobel Peace Prize in 2000. Although Sodomun closed its doors in 1988, they reopened as a museum in a memorial in 1998. The prison will stand as a symbol of the Korean indomitable will and struggle for freedom, independence, and democracy. Thank you for watching.